UAE Minister of Education, Mr. Hamadi, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, now is the stage for the honoring of uh, those who uh, all who participated in the success of this conference through the sessions and the and the, the initiatives also which will help and support and enhance and enrich the uh, education process uh, starting from students to the community and society uh, starting with the minister of education Ms. Mohara, please. Mr. Paul Coster, please. Please come to the floor, Mr. Paul. Dr. Mahmoud Ahmed, uh, Mahmoud Al Massad. Dr. Mahmoud Ahmed, Mahmoud Al Massad. You should encourage them. They uh, deserve the uh, applause. Mr. Ali Mihad Swedi. You did a great job. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Khalid Hamad al -Bakif. Dr. Suleiman Awad Suleiman. And finally, his Excellency Hussain Ibrahim Al Hamadi. Thank you, thank you for your support and cooperation. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Finally, I would like to conclude uh, with the fourth uh, session, which will be most beneficial to everyone. The need, the requirements of uh, different countries uh, from uh, highly qualified human carers uh, impose uh, and uh, stipulate uh, the uh, preparation and education as of the higher education. That is the the factor that uh, made it necessary to develop uh, the education system to be in line with the uh, regenerating and uh, always uh, new needs uh, uh, of uh, labor market requirements. Let's uh, move on to the fourth session titled Education and the Labor Market Needs and Requirements. We call upon uh, Dr. Ali Mehna Swedi to uh, moderate uh, this session. In the name of Allah, Allah, the compassion to the merciful. Your Excellency, the Minister of Education, Your Excellencies, our dear colleagues, peace be with all of you. I would like to greet all of you on uh, the last session. I hope, uh, I, know, I, I know that we are having a, a decreasing number of uh, uh, participants in this uh, uh, session but uh, I'd like to thank the organizers for making this session the concluding session
for the conference because uh, this session will present uh, the very conclusion and uh, the takeaways uh, from the two days of the conference. And this will ensure the link uh, between labor market and uh, the education system. And uh, in this session, uh, I will uh, have the, uh, the honor of uh, on, uh, hosting Dr. Khaled Hamad al bakr and uh, Dr. Suleiman Awad, Awad Suleiman. Please uh, come to the uh, stage. Please uh, uh, add the presentations, display the presentations. Welcome. Please be with you. Please be with the doctor. Actually, I will be uh, brief uh, uh, and just uh, I'll take two minutes of the uh, precious time. This session and this panel discussion is about competitiveness and the labor market and the relationship between the labor market and the educational system. This, these slides that will be displayed and uh, the slide you see in front of you right now is the latest uh, uh, competitiveness report. It shows uh, where we stand as our countries in this uh, competitiveness report. Qatar is uh, number 14, is followed by the UAE, which is number 17, then Saudi Arabia is number 25. This, the, this, uh, this is a list of the best uh, competitive uh, countries worldwide, which is issued by the International uh, Competitiveness uh, uh, Report. When we talk about competitiveness, uh, we talk about the issue of uh, social services, and the social services uh, focuses on education, especially primary education, and the reports of uh, international competitiveness focus on primary education in particular. This is the competitiveness uh, report that was uh, uh, issued recently. Actually, there is a kind of di honest dialogue between uh, uh, employers and educators, and this is an ongoing dialogue. It continues to regenerate uh, in uh, Employers believe that uh, the education system does not provide them with the deliverables they seek and the skills and capacities of graduates are weak at best. So uh, they believe that uh, there is uh, absence of uh, uh, career counseling uh, services uh, in schools. Uh, this should be provided for students. And there is also a lack of attention to vocational education. They also say that teachers' capabilities are limited. But what about educators? Educators say, no. We prepare students for life as a whole. And you, as employers, you should find a way to benefit from our deliverables. They also say that employers are not willing to do this. They, they, are not, they, they don't have strategies for uh, the training qualification. They focus only on making profits. Educators also say that uh, the labor market does not really provide them with the capacities and skills uh, metrics that can be uh, guidelines, that can present guidelines for us. Uh, and this is quite clear. They also say that uh, the uh, attraction plans are limited. The labor market, uh, uh, the employers in the labor market do not have attraction plans uh, to uh, guide the, the educators, not to mention the limited number of training uh, and sponsoring uh, uh, plans. There are many en uh, entities in the labor market that are completely detached from the education system. And therefore, they also say that uh, uh, the labor market relies on uh, cheap labor not to mention the limited benefits uh, and uh, 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 there is this uh, continuous uh, dialogue and debate uh, really continues to drag on. So we need to bridge the gap and to introduce uh, joint uh, uh, guidelines uh, along with the labor market to achieve uh, the objectives uh, that both uh, sides seek. I wanted to start with this uh, uh, brief introduction and I will uh, 
uh, uh, leave the floor to the uh, professors uh, and to introduce the research paper, please, uh, please, Dr. Khaled. In the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to uh, greet uh, uh, every single one of you and expect uh, your achievements and your titles. It's an honor to be here with you, to share with you some of our uh, expertise and uh, experience that we have witnessed in Bahrain and uh, some others uh, uh, result from uh, uh, dealing with the uh, labor market and dealing with uh, uh, competitiveness directly. First, I would like to congratulate you, the UAE after the presentation made by His Excellency the Minister of Education the uh, entire uh, uh, paper, uh, the uh, UAE nationals will uh, start to uh, rate themselves according to the criteria we'll be uh, highlighting. Uh, each one of you will, uh, should, uh, should rate his country according to the criteria we will be mentioning. Do we have uh, these factors in place or not? Uh, how can we develop uh, the practices that we have in our countries to reach a level uh, where we can compete with, other, with the others. Uh, we visit the UAE regularly, especially Dubai. Uh, if, we, uh, uh, if we are two months away from Dubai, we have to use Google Maps uh, uh, to navigate our way in Dubai because it's witnessing many uh, cha changes and developments. If we are competing, who are we competing with? If we are competing with a specific individual or a specific entity, what are we competing for? These are uh, key questions that uh, are uh, really uh, uh, not uh, in the right uh, track for us. So uh, it's, uh, it's very easy to get lost in the planning process. That is why when we uh, reach the implementation process, uh, we face many challenges because the actual reality imposes itself. And we'll talk about all of this uh, in this research paper. A simple incident, when I was leaving the uh, airplane, there is a shuttle to take you from uh, the uh, shuttle bus to take you from reception to uh, the, uh, from the uh, airplane to the, uh, uh, reception. Uh, we had uh, a traveler from Taiwan, she had a very long journey and she was very tired. We were waiting for the shuttle bus and she started complaining. Why do we have to uh, wait here for so long? There was no announcement to display that you will be waiting for this amount of time. The objective of this uh, uh, story is to ensure that we should, why should we compare ourselves to others and why. Then she started talking to the, uh, tra another traveler and they started giving examples. If we were in Taiwan, we would display a message and we would be able to know how much time we will wait. Another one said that if we were in Britain, we would have been, uh, we would have kept waiting for the uh, train and it would never show up. Then uh, the announcement uh, was displayed, uh, it w the shuttle will arrive in two minutes. Now she said, uh, now it's okay, I know now how much I have to wait. So, the point is, uh, uh, competitiveness and competition always relies on benchmarking uh, and uh, comparison. So, now when we see international tests and international competitiveness and categorization uh, into A, B, and C, in order to, be, uh, to fall into category, under category A, I have to uh, meet certain criteria. And the criteria your country falls under, or falls into, you will be facing some kind of benchmarking competitiveness. Why this country is better than me? Why, uh, sh what should I do to be better than them? So, if we notice the world that we live in, the world that we live in is highly complex. And uh, there is, uh, uh, it has become inevitable to understand uh, change uh, from a different perspective. In the past, change was linear change. We would do one, two, three, and then we take a number of steps, one, two, three, and then achieve uh, the, the desired change. But now change has become a highly complex and continuous process because what we used to plan for in one year, now an entire year may elapse, and uh, it turns out, after one year, it turns out that all the given factors of the market have changed and the, the change that you seek is uh, invalid and not valid anymore. Mr. Ali pointed out this issue before, the market is moving quickly. If we deal with social services that have uh, the impact on uh, 
uh, people, this will take time. Who is uh, uh, moving ahead and who is lagging behind? It is a new uh, uh, issue or not? Uh, uh, maybe all of you know this. The pedagogy uh, is uh, an uh, is a science that reintroduces himself, uh, uh, reintroduces itself. And if we look into the uh, research uh, literature into uh, the projects that have already been implemented, you will see that there is some kind of recreation of uh, previous uh, uh, achievements. They, uh, in the second stage, they uh, developed and uh, implemented something else. On the third stage, they return to the very starting point uh, because uh, we are dealing with human beings and uh, regulating this process uh, is very limited. Uh, uh, the margin for such regulation is limited. Now we can see the available experiences. Now we have uh, the whole story from the beginning. It's a changing world. And change has become inevitable and complex and accelerating. If we plan, we should not plan for one factor or one objective. What I like so much, uh, what I liked so, uh, much about the uh, Emirati experience is that when they started working, there was collaboration. They did not look at education. Uh, from the perspective that if I can, uh, or if you want to or seek to uh, enhance our deliverables, should we start from the base or from the top of the hierarchy or the top of the pyramid? This is one of the uh, repetitive question and uh, recurring questions. Some people start uh, with the base, uh, and some people say, no, we should start with university education. We should change university education. Others said, no, we should change with uh, the teachers. The Bahraini experience. Uh, focuses on changing everything uh, from scratch. Uh, the Emirati experience uh, focuses on uh, uh, bringing about change in everything. Every uh, ch logic that you uh, resort to has its uh, pros and cons. Uh, the inf information is a source of strength, but it is uh, only a, tempor a temporary uh, time uh, uh, source of strength. Uh, once you have a product, uh, the, uh, a new product in the market, uh, the other companies start uh, using your product as a benchmark and they develop even better products. So we have seen the uh, continuous uh, competition between Apple and Sam Samsung uh, products. One of them used to be uh, another, country, uh, another company used to dominate the market, but uh, uh, competition uh, never ends. So the strength of uh, uh, information that we receive is very important. Uh, the most important point uh, is achieving sustainability because others will continue to compete. Uh, excellence is no longer an option. You have to be excellent to be able to survive. You need to be excellent to be able to achieve success. Uh, now, that, that is why we have uh, collaborative and cooperative uh, management uh, for change. Uh, you cannot really do this uh, and bring about this change on your own. You have a vision, but uh, you need to be able to encourage people to uh, follow in your steps. Uh, are we talking about the second line of command or the third line of command? Are we talking about the teachers who will implement the policies or the parents who will witness uh, these or who will be... Uh, uh, not aware of these initiatives but a single uh, campaign in the social media may put an end to a new project so uh, we need also to uh, keep our minds on the uh, international economy and the, the complex nature of this economy internal issues can be solved but still generate bigger problems for example in China they had the problem of uh, 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 snakes. Uh, th there were too many snakes uh, in uh, uh, the fields. So uh, and and the snakes have been stinging many people. So they launched a campaign and they killed all the snakes uh, in the fields. For two weeks, everything was quiet and peaceful. But what was the second problem that they faced? Spurs. Spurs. Uh, 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 started eating their crops. Uh, they were afraid uh, uh, of the snakes uh, when the snakes uh, had been uh, living in these uh, 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 fields. So you solved one uh, problem and replaced it with another. Wh how did uh, Singapore achieve uh, success? It adopted uh, industry and uh, professional field. Not a single uh, uh, not a single factory moved on its own, not, uh, not a single uh, uh, ministry moved on its own. They moved together. They uh, started working together. But now, in this stage, most uh, uh, GCC countries are talking about services and not industries. So 
we, we may also enter the uh, industrial domain, but uh, we need to know what uh, uh, our objectives are. The objective here is to understand the dynamics of uh, the market. And it's not really uh, dependent on me uh, as an educator or the country itself. It is uh, really focusing on uh, whether we can achieve, uh, be part of the competition or not. Even the, labor, the, the laborers that we want now, or the workers that we seek now, is uh, of a different nature. We used to look for uh, a BA, or uh, 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 now still uh, the graduates have BAs, and they're suffering from uh, unemployment. Why? Because now we have hybrid systems, and these uh, changes, and, and the concept of change itself has changed. If we want to change, is this a linear uh, change or a circular change, uh, problem solving? As we mentioned before, the concepts of problem solving, that we should be doing one, two, three to achieve the uh, objective and uh, get the solution. Now we say it's uh, a highly complex uh, uh, and uh, chain-like process. Uh, I give you an example here. We solved one problem and now another, and maybe even a bigger or smaller problem may arise. How can we deal with them? as you pointed out in the other previous presentations. In return for these continuous changes and the uh, um, typ typical and traditional approach compared to the complex approach, the planning concepts have changed, the management leadership changes have already changed, and the same applies to the competitiveness uh, concept. There is a book called The Art of War. It uh, shows that uh, if you are fighting over nine uh, pieces of land, an easy and open area of land, this uh, book has many ramifications on management. One of the kinds of land he was talking about is a piece of land, uh, is, is a piece of land, and this is the worst kind uh, of uh, war, to be uh, fighting over your own land or that we are competing with one another. Are we doing that? Yes, because we are competing with these entities uh, that have succeeded in uh, inculcating into one of your uh, children's uh, and your uh, one of your national one of your nationals uh, extremist ideas and encourage them uh, to uh, take uh, or to conduct uh, uh, terrorist attacks. So you are in this case uh, competing with these entities to protect your own survival. So this is different from competing with the other uh, entities and other uh, uh, corporations to achieve success. So we are not just focusing on economy. And uh, what was presented on the first and the second uh, research paper, who is moving the other? Uh, is education moving the economy or the economy moving the education system? What about politics? Maybe we may have a positive economic outlook or a positive educational outlook, but the policy that we have may limit us. For example, what we, the presentation by the Minister of Education reflects the three factors, including political will, an economic vision, and a social and developmental vision. So also the concept of culture changed. Who will define the, uh, your culture now? Look at the kind of restaurants that you have. You used to eat uh, at least one kind of uh, uh, food, uh, but, uh, did you, but now things are different. You used to have uh, traditional food, but now you are saying that the traditional food is unhealthy and it causes many uh, diseases, and you are adopting a different uh, way of life and a different... Uh, uh, way of uh, looking at things. So when we talk about uh, the uh, habits and traditions, which one are we seeking to retain? Now we move on to another uh, slide, the next uh, slide. How do nations deal with this need uh, for uh, uh, visions and uh, competition? Now we have vis the UAE vision uh, 2021, uh, we have Qatar and Bahrain, uh, Europe and Malaysia, they are focused on uh, uh, macro policies documents. Uh, they focused on economic and socio-economic uh, development and human capital development, competitiveness, sustainability, the ability to overcome uh, challenges. The Malaysian experience uh, started by flipping the pyramid. They started what they uh, by focusing on what they need to change. They listed nine obstacles at the national level and pointed out that if they can, uh, can overcome these obstacles, this will be their success. But for us, things are different. We have a different vision. 
all of them focus on a single objective, a better standard of living, more prosperity for the, uh, uh, the nationals and for the citizens. How can we achieve this uh, in a different manner? Now I'm telling you the story. How can we uh, shape the philosophy of change? And uh, how can we achieve uh, a good level of competitiveness? After uh, formulating these documents, I looked at what we already have. Now, this is citizenship. The objective of having schools in its most corresponding theories, and most simple corresponding theories, we have needs for the society. Then we qualify individuals to be able to meet the society's needs. Now, things have developed far more, uh, to be far more complex. If we want uh, a, a child to graduate from universe, what kind of skills that we seek? There is an analytical view. There's something called the 21st century skills. Maybe you have heard of it. Uh, this is uh, in a number of countries and a number of entities. We found out that uh, these are the skills uh, enhance the citizenship uh, idea and technological background and technological culture and to which level I want it and uh, uh, group uh, work also, group uh, uh, initiative. We need uh, the uh, uh, the output to go out to the market, and one plus one is, uh, equal to two. This is uh, not what is required now in the market. The we have to also enhance the uh, learning uh, throughout the life. This is uh, al always a vision for our current needs and uh, uh, and uh, enhancing the self responsibility in order to uh, reach to the community uh, community or so social responsibility. Uh, I don't want to create a person who is in, in, in charge of himself only. He should be benefiting the social society in which he is living. Let us see this example. Uh, all of you as educators uh, have come al in line with uh, with this example. In the past, uh, the assessment of the person, well, we, we come to the uh, 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 final line and we check what is uh, the level of the students through the exams, the, through the tests. But before that, uh, we, after that, we thought that maybe the final test is not the only one to assess the uh, capability of the students. And uh, maybe uh, this is not true. So uh, with the modern vision, uh, that the, the assessment should be continuously, should be held to continuously, starting from entering the classroom and in every session, and based on the information I feed, uh, him or her up with, uh, and then I will assess. The teacher now is responsible. The first uh, teacher, the management of the school, has become responsible. Uh, only simple change. Be, be, uh, be, I mean, we, we said uh, before we uh, fin uh, the finish line, the end line, we have to assess the students on everyday basis. This responsibility has become too big for the teacher and the management, a principal of the school. Uh, through a number of interviews, through numbers of tests and drop tests and things like that, we have to assess. So. Uh, when I change the way I test the students, I evaluate their skills, uh, I have to come through uh, different stages. So uh, it is not a simple thing. I mean, a, a simple change, but uh, not a simple change in, uh, in the way we uh, conduct tests, how we prepare our teacher, how we prepare our schools. Um, if we want uh, him to test on an everyday basis, we have also to prepare them for this kind of test, and uh, we prepare them to conduct such kind of tests. So the expect uh, they will come up to the expectation of the uh, of the system itself, uh, and in order to focus on the skills on uh, and knowledge, uh, uh, to focus on skills instead of uh, focusing on the knowledge, uh, to, to skill on the skills or to focus on skills. Uh, there is <laughs> there is random 
learning system uh, this is not good uh, the learning buzz is uh, how those people how are conducting the work how they are uh, earning the knowledge how they are dismantling uh, in the quality in the quality uh, the your your time has finished uh, in the quality department organization when we measure these skills we have uh, we still have a challenge uh, in the uh, in the t development and uh, the level was still below the average which we are looking for so uh, how we can reach our uh, objectives or achieve them uh, we the best who are best in the international exams uh, d uh, depends on the de decentralized day of the school. If in Finland, it is difficult. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, we use uh, we use music. We use uh, uh, we use some something else. And if we didn't use music for one day in Finland schools, this means that there is a failure in the system. When we are talking about the salaries of this of the teacher uh, they still uh, earn less than uh, engineers or than judges or than other uh, other profession in the society so uh, it doesn't matter how much you pay the teacher or how much uh, you invest but he, they have to be uh, responsible and they have to be uh, actually like what they are doing and they are prepared to do what they are doing you I have to make our, my policies clear that I need to uh, uh, whether uh, if I want to keep my identity my national identity my language uh, even even uh, as a guardian of the students or, or teachers, they wanted, wanted English to be the medium. Uh, as a society, do I want them to keep the uh, identity? Uh, I do, we don't know. I mean, and that is depend entirely on how these children will uh, take their knowledge and w which which is the medium, uh, the language they are, they have to use in order to get to earn their knowledge. So we have to focus on uh, the identity, or what kind of citizenship or uh, or uh, nationalism, or. Uh, the nationalism, like uh, in uh, social countries and uh, the leadership and so and the and the uh, national anthem, and and uh, uh, we have the American system where you you are a citizenship, but you can uh, uh, actually criticize your system, your country. I want the citizen who will reflect a good picture uh, about the society. When we were in Sweden, uh, we were we were lost, and a child, uh, a Swedish child, so, uh, who is 17 years old, uh, left everything in his hand, and he asked us where where we are going to go. If you want to uh, my help, if you want something like this, this is the, he actually conveyed a very good picture. Uh, the uh, citizenship is not uh, uh, the book of the of the na uh, nationalism; it is uh, it is uh, behavior. If I uh, saw someone in my country who needs for some help and went to help him, that would reflect my uh, my national identity. Also, the uh, assessment and uh, the follow-up, the auditing, uh, it doesn't mean that I will have to punish people for not achieving the goals, but uh, we have to assess their achievements. Uh, uh, I have to ask him whether I achieve, uh, achieve the goal or not. Uh, so decision-making process, we have to have uh, data principles uh, and we cannot wait the about uh, the uh, data available in this regard or that regard i have to 
uh, we, we, we have to have the data system, we have to da have data bank in order to build my decision accordingly. Uh, and we cannot uh, wait for more. Uh, I need two minutes only. Regarding the competitiveness and uh, the effectiveness and the interactive, we need to find the interlinks between all of these kind uh, of things. Uh, what is the effectiveness? I need to spend. I, I, I know that I can spend, but I want to have the efficiency and achieve my goals in the f maybe in the fastest time. I want uh, may maybe sacrifice the quality. Uh, uh, there are principles uh, in Britain, uh, they look for the cost. So the final message, all of these uh, interactions or cr uh, cross actions, when we are talking about the economy, uh, we talk about the development of human being resources. The sustainability will not be achieved unless the, the head of the pyramid and the, uh, the bottom line of the pyramid has to speak the same language. If you are talking about uh, the uh, education process in 10 countries, in the most 10 advanced countries, they were talking the same language. Uh, the same language they use. I'm, I'm not talking about the language Arabic or English. I'm talking about the same expression and they believe in the same values. So the sustainability, as the minister said, sustainability de not de depend on uh, uh, persons. Uh, they it depends on the look, the tension under which the uh, ch changes required by the Ministry of uh, Education. There is huge tension. Uh, comprehensiveness needs, needs sometimes to be achieved. Uh, another tension also happen uh, when there is a struggle between the centralized system and the individual system also. And uh, development of skills also uh, in order to motivate uh, the uh, uh, economy. And uh, do I want the economy or do I need building of a uh, good human being, good uh, citizenship? The third tension is the knowledge is based on the competitiveness. But we have the system which is isolated completely from the society. Next time, I will also uh, make the assessment on individual basis. So, uh, actually, we are not really precise in, the, in, in this li look. Uh, looking for the skills of the 21st century and the policies changes, uh, and most of them, they are not uh, co in compliance with the needs of the 21st centuries. We don't focus on skills and the content. We focus on skills. So I reduced the uh, academic content. Uh, but those who will implement this policy uh, have not been trained or have not uh, come through a system which has uh, uh, similar value. They were, they, were, they were produced by a different system. So this will affect the output of the, uh, of the, product, of the product. We, we need the change, yes. Or do uh, some of us uh, do not believe in the change? Uh, we cannot change unless we believe in that change and we assess that change. And finally, if, the, if we want to focus on something that we have to find out the best studies and the best experience uh, and bringing the, uh, uh, an experience from here and there, we need to have a centralized uh, uh, and scientific center to produce all, all kinds of studies. And if we don't want to use our language, this is uh, not good at all. 
that happened in the European uh, time and uh, 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 um, maybe we were the p people who gave uh, the science uh, to the European but uh, after that this died and the European took over and uh, my final slide is I want to have one thing if we want to compete in this country in this world we you have to look into the recommendation which I have in my paper if we want to compete the teacher has to be respected in the society no one should be given i mean our decision should not be against the, uh, the 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 teacher in order to please the father or custodian or or students or to please uh, the, uh, the 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 social media this is singapore uh, the ministry of education was uh, the slogan was there on their money uh, and the currency and the banknotes uh, so, uh, if our teacher will continue to live uh, under this kind of pressure, there will be burnout, a quick burnout, a swift burnout for the uh, credibility of the teacher, which will not help the development of the uh, process of the uh, of the education process. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thanks a lot, and I hope that uh, I was I didn't take long to convey my message. Thank you. I would like to thank you for this interesting and valuable presentation and highly specialized one. Dr. Suleiman, please. In the name of Allah, the compassion and the merciful. Your Excellency, the Minister of Education, the chairman of the uh, regional center for educational planning Ms. Mahlal, the director of the center the uh, renowned experts and educators my participation in this conference is about uh, the way we can uh, or the, how the educational and training systems can cope with the uh, my labor market requirements through a number of experiences uh, and uh, 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 that have been introduced as part of uh, the Invoc uh, uh, training and vocational training uh, network. It is marked by its focus on uh, uh, cooperating with the uh, ministries of education and vocational training institutes uh, and research centers, research and training centers in these fields. The research paper focuses on a number of uh, justifications, uh, backgrounds, and challenges, a partnership between uh, the public and private sector, the uh, training uh, centers and uh, qualification centers in the Arab region, how to develop uh, national criteria to ensure sustainability and quality, and shedding light on a number of best practices uh, as part of your uh, network, uh, and finally, uh, shedding light on the learned lessons uh, in the field of uh, uh, regional uh, and uh, uh, international cooperation and finally uh, introducing a number of recommendations. The background of this uh, uh, research paper is based on the UNESCO uh, studies and the, it is in line with the uh, vocational and uh, professional uh, training uh, short-term strategy that is uh, that was conducted from 20, 2010 until 2015. It uh, also introduces consultation and clarifies uh, concepts and uh, works as uh, a publishing house in terms of uh, training and vocational training. And finally, we also shed light on a number of uh, experiences that have to do with pioneering education uh, and introducing uh, Univoc uh, network uh, and shedding light on the uh, ne international network that comprises 4,000 institutions worldwide. Teaching for excellence uh, underscores uh, innovation and creativity and life skills uh, and expands uh, individuals' skills and preparing for the labor market, especially uh, 
moving towards uh, self-employment and uh, uh, small enterprises uh, through the international and regional and work, uh, the, the World Economic Forum uh, uh, courses uh, and uh, its uh, uh, rounds in uh, Davos and Bahrain and other uh, areas of the world. Uh, a lot the justifications, there is heavy reliance uh, from uh, uh, graduates on employment in the public sector and this is uh, in, in the, uh, well known in the Arab region and all decision makers are aware of this. Uh, the uh, slowing economic growth uh, in most Arab countries uh, and uh, the fact that it was uh, negatively uh, affected by the uh, international recession and political and social uh, uh, factors, uh, the high uh, uh, unemployment rate that reaches almost 50% in some areas of the Arab world. The, the uh, immigration by uh, uh, of the immigration of highly trained uh, and highly skilled uh, labor to Europe and to the USA. Uh, young uh, young women uh, are generally uh, trying to move into the sector of education in the public sector, despite the fact that there are other fields that need them. Uh, the GCC countries, uh, the Jordan. Uh, and uh, Egypt uh, and uh, many other uh, Arab countries are focusing on uh, knowledge-based economy, uh, including, of course, the UAE and GCC countries. The, of course, there are challenges uh, which include the, the ongoing uh, uh, military conflicts in the region, which uh, negatively impacts uh, uh, social uh, uh, and economic stability. The uh, plummeting oil prices, uh, marginalization of uh, young people in the Arab region, and other countries of the world as well. Young people are also uh, uh, detaching themselves from vocational uh, and uh, uh, professional uh, uh, skills, despite the, fa uh, despite the fact that uh, uh, there is high demand on these uh, specific uh, uh, jobs. There, there was also a Shanghai uh, conference on building uh, uh, technical and vocational uh, 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 skills. Uh, the UNESCO holds uh, a similar conference uh, every 10 years. Uh, it was held in uh, Shanghai and uh, in Korea, and the latest one was ho held in Shanghai in 2015. It focuses on building the life skills and labor skills. Now, we link uh, uh, life skill and work together. The recommendations are focused on seven factors, reinforcing vocational training, expanding the utilization of education and training and uh, vocational uh, training, uh, coping, uh, uh, reshaping uh, qualifications, uh, reliance on evidence, uh, uh, underscoring governance, increasing investment, uh, uh, underscoring uh, vocational training and diversifying uh, the funding sources. Uh, His Excellency the Minister stressed these points in the morning. The recommendations and some implementations of these recommendations are available in a number of languages at uh, the UNESCO's website. These are some of the indicators that have to do with the spending rates. Uh, in this context, I refer to an Arab country like Kuwait that may have the highest uh, spending rate on education. There is uh, a number of countries, uh, including Morocco, but uh, the way of uh, you achieving a, a, a better ROI of uh, education investments is still to be seen. The Triple P focuses on uh, uh, co-joined education, but this is uh, the the model that links training uh, at vocational schools and the labor market to ensure there is uh, sufficient diversity and uh, moreover there are some other initiatives in cooperation with the private sector such as uh, Lebanon's initiative on fo focusing on uh, employment, uh, entrepreneurship, uh, electronic and distance learning, uh, the uh, Microsoft Virtual Academy. All of these are available in Arabic and in other languages as well. I don't want to shed light on all of these uh, topics because I know you are aware of them, but our objective is to uh, highlight that teachers or uh, institute uh, uh, managers and the principals are aware of this before students are. The entrepreneurship and electronic uh, learning uh, or electronic education, here the, there are uh, different uh, uh, tracks uh, and learning tracks online. Uh, we incur call upon uh, our countries to uh, establish such online portals uh, to uh, 
under school cooperation between research uh, centers and universities in Lebanon, Tunisia, and uh, Sultanate Oman, uh, the Sultanate of Oman. We have around 35 centers, but I've chosen uh, three or four uh, centers to shed light on the uh, activity for the, the purpose of this uh, conference, including the Vocational Excellence uh, uh, Center in Bahrain and the National uh, Vocational Guidance uh, Center uh, in the Sultanate of Oman and the uh, Higher Colleges of Technology in the UAE and uh, Oman, the Northern Atlant Atlantic uh, uh, College in Qatar and a number of centers. I'm glad that most GCC countries and our countries uh, uh, represent, are represented in this conference to exchange expertise. The uh, Excellence Center has been cooperating with the UNESCO to develop uh, vocational training, especially in terms of uh, uh, trade, uh, trade skills and uh, excellence programs in general, whether in Bahrain or in other countries. The National Vocational Guidance Center is uh, the link uh, between the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Higher Education, and the Ministry of Labor. There are uh, guidance points and uh, uh, consultations provided by this, by this center. The higher colleges of technology, I don't want to shed too much, on the, too much light on them, but of course you are aware of the important role in preparing the labor force in the UAE and uh, in another country that was uh, namely uh, the Sultanate of Oman that was, has adopted the same concept. Now the uh, uh, North Atlantic Center also uh, adopts the same principle. Developing national standards is uh, a key uh, factor in uh, developing and maintaining quality and sustainability. And this is conducted by a non-profit organization that calls upon uh, encompassing the uh, personal funds management and consulting uh, uh, concepts. It tries to achieve these objectives through programs introduced uh, via uh, schools, universities, uh, and vocational centers. We notice that uh, the, there's a focus on uh, uh, extracurricular interventions and training of teachers and how to integrate students uh, and uh, raise awareness among them uh, of the labor market requirements, especially in the business sector and the commercial sector. Here I would like to link a number of uh, uh, trends uh, to the UNESCO programs, especially uh, learning and continuous education, and the current shift towards the millennial uh, sustainable uh, objectives. At the beginning, uh, let's say in, in the first 10 years, we have uh, uh, eight objectives, including two objectives for learning and education. Now we are uh, having 17 objectives. That was uh, in the, uh, stated in the 70th uh, meeting of the uh, uh, General Assembly. They uh, agreed on uh, uh, 17 objectives, uh, the one of which uh, stipulate uh, uh, underscoring equality and uh, sustainability. There is a general program that has been approved uh, in Shanghai in November last year. It focuses on underscoring uh, policies, uh, transforming, uh, transforming learning environment and training, uh, underscoring the skills of teachers and trainers, gather, uh, underscoring uh, student, uh, young people's skills and accelerating uh, sustainable solutions. The, they cover the, uh, span, the, the period of time from 2015 to 2017. The uh, good practice in uh, training and vocational training in cooperation with the uh, vocational uh, uh, training center in Bonn it focuses on the uh, vocational training and entrepreneurship and using the uh, IT and uh, ICT and uh, communication among different uh, zones and different uh, regions to ensure that we underscore sustainable development, especially uh, the agreement of Shanghai. The learned lessons and uh, regional and international cooperation, the experiences uh, of the uh, uh, country, uh, the countries in this region have been underscored by the common factors and the similar uh, cultural background, uh, sim joint language and uh, uh, f friendly relations between these uh, countries, including uh, the cooperation in the field of education. Introducing uh, the strategic, also the strategic mm -hmm. studies into uh, economic and social development uh, would be the cornerstone of uh, the Arab countries' success in uh, underscoring the uh, culture of uh, entrepreneurship among uh, young people 
uh, here I'd like to stress the uh, National Center for Educational Planning uh, in this uh, sector. Learning for excellence is an important uh, step in this field and uh, we also seek to uh, spread uh, the uh, entrepreneurship culture and holding regional and international workshops uh, to uh, champion the, pro the programs of uh, uh, training and vocational training and entrepreneurship and vocational training and education. A host of results and recommendations have been introduced for the Arab region in particular. Uh, the priorities uh, is to, me, to link the deliverables of education to the labor market through coordination among the competent authorities, developing curricula, training teachers and trainers, and networking. The recommendations of integrating learning for excellence, uh, developing stra national strategies for uh, learning uh, for education and uh, uh, pioneering efforts, developing curricula, you have five minutes left. Training uh, teachers, paying special attention to uh, regional leadership in this field and encouraging uh, uh, joint cooperation and uh, establishing an R portal in this field. This is uh, uh, an important model for uh, uh, that focuses on life skills, innovation, creativity, problem solving and work. Here we have a number of proposed resources, they are available and you can uh, uh, of course access them uh, through the conference uh, website. Thank you very much. Thank you Dr. Suleiman. Thank you for this interesting presentation and thank you for your commitment to the time given to you. Now we open the floor to questions. We can take Questions will uh, receive question and direct answer, please, Doctor. Peace be with you. First, would like to thank the uh, lecturers and the presenters. My question is to Dr. Khalid. Talking about competitiveness uh, is very important and it's a very exciting topic, but I need to know your comment about. Uh, a number of countries that do not really pay much attention to competitiveness uh, for a number of reasons. The foremost of which uh, is that competitiveness uh, is based on information or data. This, this information or data are, obta uh, are obtained from international organizations. The information are usually inaccurate, whether they have been uh, received or been obtained from another resource uh, or transmitted in uh, uh, any uh, inaccurate manner and therefore may not uh, uh, honestly represent uh, the situation of that country. The second point, some countries also may resort uh, for any reason, whether it is a political reason or any other reason, they may resort to focusing on the criteria that can uh, enable them to have uh, a higher ranking in the competitiveness reports and therefore these countries that adopt uh, this uh, uh, approach uh, believe that uh, they should focus on quality within the country regardless of uh, the rankings uh, of competitiveness reports. I need to know your comment on this issue. Thank you. It's a very uh, important question. I should have uh, shed more light uh, uh, on uh, on this topic in the last two slides, but I didn't have enough time. On on slide number 22, there is an answer to this question. I hope they can display this uh, 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 this slide. It's a message to subordinates and to managers. This answers the first part of your question. When you are in a state of change, you find yourself between the rock and the hard place. When I looked into the origin of these uh, criteria and the assessment mechanism, now we have seen uh, the uh, competitiveness rankings and there are countless uh, rankings that are uh, 
uh, declared worldwide. There is a process of normalization that is happening worldwide currently. Now the question to us, should we face this or should we just uh, try to go with the flow? This is the dilemma that we are facing in the Arab world now. So half of us are saying we don't want to lag behind. The other half is saying no, we want to have a sound structure. If we want to base our society on these structures, we will not be doing the right thing. We should disregard them. So we, when we had been in Finland, we met uh, all, with all the stakeholders of the educational system in Finland. Some countries have moved. And we all say this. How can you bring about change? Change need to come f to include the entire society from uh, the smallest level to the highest level. And uh, the best reason is to go through a crisis. If you are facing uh, uh, an existential threat, uh, you will find that everyone is united. The best e two examples in this field is Singapore. Under the, it was under poverty line and uh, uh, lack of resources, corruption, wars, and uh, uh, judicial corruption. Uh, the education system that uh, uh, underscores uh, uh, discrimination. Where should they join Malaysia or China, uh, Finland, uh, another, uh, the Second World War, uh, one of the most complex countries they could not uh, uh, enter, but when they uh, entered or uh, managed to invade uh, 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 Singapore, they, it was also difficult for them, and the same applied to uh, countries like Russia and uh, Sweden. Uh, which represented a challenge for uh, uh, Singapore. They were facing this existential uh, question, should they become Russian or uh, Swedish or which country should they join? The, the, in Finland, they say all of, they said that the most important uh, uh, challenge they faced is that the Swedish uh, uh, system was excellent, it was better than us. But when we the uh, results were declared, we were number one and they were number seven. The one thing that I like the most uh, that they said uh, in the next uh, cycle we will start the Thames test and from now on we expect uh, that our uh, results will be below uh, the average but we will not change our system because we are not targeting the system. We are not targeting the the test we are targeting to do the right thing. So the difficult choice uh, countries are facing uh, at this point of time is whether to accept these criteria the way they are and with all their flaws or to, dis uh, in uh, to dis uh, persuade the decision makers that uh, uh, a comprehens comprehensive change can bring about a better result. So competition in this uh, time uh, actually, competition in the past used to be fair competition, but now it's unfair competition. An example of this is that there are uh, countries that are excelling at TIMS because they are uh, exercising pressure on students uh, and introducing uh, additional tests. They turned the education system into a source of income. It has become uh, a commodity. Every now and then, we have uh, an educational uh, uh, delegation that want to learn from us uh, and uh, they want us to teach them, and they are paying for this. So uh, this difficult equation should be resolved. I conclude my answer by s saying that uh, uh, regardless of the decision you make on this, uh, if the self-assessment process that you have is authentic and genuine, and you are confident in it, you must never give up the change in the first uh, couple of years, uh, because uh, in the change science there is something called the ch implementation dip because you want to change everything. Don't think that uh, next year there will be even a marginal uh, growth. Let your implementation process take its time until everyone is uh, uh, embracing this culture. Then you will uh, raise to levels that you never thought you could reach. Thank you. Question. Peace be with you. My name is Khalid Ashi from the Ministry of Education in Saudi Arabia. Actually, uh, it has been really a great pleasure, a pleasure to watch those two presentations. Those two presentations, they took us to different horizons that uh, took us away from the local level, level to the international level. 
and uh, trying to uh, make a standing for us uh, in, at the international level and not uh, just at the individual or regional level but uh, at the international level and uh, definitely we don't have a choice either we can uh, either we become part of the pioneers in this competition or to uh, become pioneers of this competition or, or otherwise you need to find another planet to live on so i thank you for highlighting this challenge i have a question for his excellency dr khalid about what he presented in terms of his uh, presentation on uh, competitiveness you highlighted the the changes that accompanied the concepts of uh, competitiveness as for this change do we have uh, a close correlation between the most uh, influential factor uh, driving the uh, competitiveness rankings and uh, the uh, progress any country can achieve through education or don't we have any uh, valuable uh, information on this uh, point. My second question to His Excellency Dr. Suleiman, you pointed out uh, a number of uh, uh, entrepreneurship models and the transformation that we are witnessing in terms of uh, fo the focus on entrepreneurship. It is uh, uh, an important step uh, to help people fulfill their potential. But uh, some people talk about an ethical issue, which is uh, detaching ourselves from uh, or giving, giving up on our responsibility to provide uh, ample opportunity for uh, individual growth through entrepreneurship, because uh, this domain is full of uh, trials and errors. The question is clear. My uh, last uh, section, uh, the last section of this uh, question is what are the legal uh, dimensions that uh, should be uh, observed for uh, public uh, education graduates? Uh, do the uh, rules and regulation allow for an international framework to let uh, a 17 years old uh, uh, young man start working immediately, or do we have uh, any restrictions on entrepreneurship? Yes, ent the uh, entrepreneurship and the market directly. Uh, question by question, it's better, I believe. Thank you, uh, Mr. Khaled. The education for continuous sustainable development. There is a, a environmental, social, and uh, educational and cultural dimension. But cultural dimension, maybe in the international arena in the Arab country, is uh, integrated in the other three aspects. The three aspects are d depend on the student himself how we can uh, enhance the cooperation between the uh, educational institution and the NGOs, uh, municipalities, uh, and we have implemented a number of projects uh, like the green uh, schools and the implanting of trees. And regarding the uh, graduate and the uh, uh, job markets, as uh, been mentioned by the, uh, His Excellency the Minister, uh, starting from uh, Jordan, we started uh, f uh, from uh, ba I mean, uh, basic uh, education, which is uh, for 10 years instead of uh, f uh, nine years. Uh, uh, so by the age of 15 years, uh, he will be able to uh, join the market. And now Oman has implemented the same thing. And we have a medium range uh, uh, planning uh, uh, planning uh, plan in Oman. And I hope this will not uh, contradict with the vocational education. This will, uh, I hope that this will support and enhance the uh, higher, uh, the education, uh, the advanced education in the secondary school level. So uh, uh, that are the uh, topics which we c focus on in our uh, UNESCO programs. Uh, to answer uh, your question uh, in summary, uh, 
the message which we need to convey through these uh, meetings and brainstorm. This is a positive message. There is no one way to achieve competitiveness and uh, pioneering. Uh, the, the example which we put, uh, the Singaporean school, the system is based tight, loose, tight in the level of uh, ministry which uh, they have lose in the school level tight in the uh, 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 assessment of the products uh, of the uh, of the output the reflection uh, on the on the uh, on the level uh, on the uh, the prime minister can uh, is not allowed to uh, enroll his child in a private school this is uh, uh, how uh, people think there in finland we have four sessions in the first day starting at 9 and leave school at 1 o'clock we 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 saw the school uh, timing table if we uh, if we have sunlight outside, we we d dismiss the classroom. So uh, that's how there's no uh, curriculum, there's no book. Every uh, stu ev every teacher has uh, has his own curricula. You are allowed to have initiative. How to deal how to deal with uh, with the uh, with the teacher when he reached the level of the burnout and both of them have achieved uh, very good uh, results when we are talking about uh, far asian country most of them they have a centralized system this the centralized system is more advanced uh, and this is has a uh, better message for us, I mean a good message for us, because we are close to centralized system instead of decentralized one. Uh, we, need, we have two questions. Anna Abdullah from the Ministry of Education in the UAE. Dr. Khaled, you have presented about the data system, about the data bank that it has uh, also linked to what's been said by Dr. St Stephen. The challenges uh, of the uh, initiative and uh, uh, there is no research about them. This is very important actually, uh, how we can uh, uh, close this gap or actually fill this gap uh, I hope that this will be one recommendation of this conference, how we can create a data bank to build our decision according to figures. And also another important uh, su uh, subject by Dr. Stephen, he spoke about the teacher. There were also some comments by one of the uh, attendees. Uh, what, what are the links between the countries that have achieved a higher mark in the international test and international exam that all of these country uh, where uh, they have one link that teachers are satisfied of their jobs and they are uh, credible in their society so we have to focus on this point and we have to hear uh, maybe your comment about it I believe uh, you have said everything about regarding the database. Uh, if we took that from a corporate point of view, there are two indicators, but we, uh, we there is more focus on them. Uh, one concept and one indicator. Institution uh, of corporate reputation how we enhance our uh, reputation this is uh, this is income when uh, we enhance the uh, reputation uh, we uh, i don't buy this product uh, i buy extra money when it has reputation uh, more reputation better reputation and the other uh, 
uh, point which has a link to this point I will, as well. There's a concept which is growing uh, fastly, uh, which is data mining. Uh, the, uh, when, we, when we search about data, and there are some programs, uh, there uh, is some complication uh, regarding social uh, aspect. But if we have all of these factors linked together, that is the outcome that we will come. Uh, so uh, in, in order to get uh, our reputation better, we need to know what is our objective and what is uh, what is our target. How we can advance uh, if we want so one recommendation, we need to find out a mechanism, mechanism in order to measure the advancement achieved in the human uh, resources and the, uh, how the, this minister has succeeded or has this minister has not succeeded what is the, what uh, how this country was uh, correct in their direction or not uh, uh, correct or not successful in their direction so uh, many people who work in the uh, education sector uh, sometimes they come up with the judgment uh, rather than measuring uh, measuring it truly what happened. So we need it actually, we need uh, this uh, we, to build uh, on our future regarding the uh, teacher satisfaction. Uh, I would, we don't mean that he is not producing, and I mean that we are satisfied with, with not producing uh, or not iPads. What is the outcome was better? Is there any guarantee that there will be better students? When I offer the iPad, what, what is the full system of the iPad? Not only for the students, but what is the teach, how the teacher will deal with the iPad? Uh, yeah, I, I believe when yes when yesterday i went to the ipad uh, i went there to build an app if i want yeah you have and you have to get your hands dirty uh, we don't have compulsory step we need to look into the depth of the dimension and especially in the GCC countries, the justice is vertical justice and horizontal justice. Mm, we have horizontal justice. What, is, what does it mean? That everybody has the right of education, that we have, we have the vertical justice, how Every student can uh, can develop his skills, and w through the, uh, to achieve this, we need a data bank, and the, both subjects are interlinked. Shukran. Thank you, Dr. Khalid. We we are concluding this session. One last question. Tfadal. I'm Mohammed Blue Chief from Saudi Arabia, Ministry of Education. Thank you very much for the presentation. I have to. Uh, I, I I need the reaction from Dr. Suleiman. First of all, the comment in Saudi Arabia. We do the secondary school development or uh, stage development. Uh, we studied the gap between the outcome of the uh, secondary school and the uh, university and uh, and the vocational education. There was a need. We discover there was a need 
and I hope this will become a recommendation for this conference uh, in the Arab uh, country level and analysis for this gap to bridge this gap between uh, uh, the need of the job market and the um, higher education. What I need uh, Dr. Suleiman to comment on is Uh, what is the need of the uh, uh, the job market in terms of of special education? I'm not sure if he mean uh, the education for special needs for people of special needs. Yeah, of people of special needs in the job market. What are the educational needs? Uh, in summary, we need to link uh, the education to this uh, process, and the, we like to thank the centers management for this sector and for this step. Uh, of course, this is in line with the initiative of uh, the. Uh, uh, the Secretary General, in terms of uh, coordinating with the uh, Ministers of Education and the Labour Market, uh, and uh, the still, uh, we still have the same barriers in the Arab region, as Dr. Khaled pointed out. Uh, we still have uh, challenges and barriers, and in some uh, cases, uh, we have uh, uh, ministers uh, that uh, are facing major challenges. We, in the Arab region, we are targeting only three or four. Uh, uh, sectors, the tra vocational training, higher education, and uh, we don't really underscore uh, competitiveness, but there is, co there is integration. How can we achieve proper integration and encourage uh, parents and uh, uh, learners themselves, the same way we see in Switzerland, uh, uh, Sweden, uh, Singapore, Germany. There is uh, a momentum for the society to achieve this because there are some categories of society that society needs and uh, that does not require a university degree, some of which, uh, some of this category require a year or so. Why do we invest in four years uh, while uh, we uh, and, and continue to suffer from unemployment? And we have many examples of this. Uh, when you see them, there are many examples. Without collaboration, all of our work uh, will be uh, missing and in, insufficient. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Salman. Thank you, Dr. Khalid. At the end of this the session, we would like to uh, uh, point out that we have uh, clear recommendations that will be uh, implemented, God willing. We hope that we'll have uh, another uh, uh, time to discuss uh, this uh, issue because the continuation of uh, uh, communication and coordination is very important because we have joint objectives uh, and uh, uh, joint uh, factors. Uh, which we have in common. Uh, I would like to thank you for your kind attendance and hope to see you in, uh, on another event. Thank you and peace be with you. Your Excellency, the Minister of Education, the uh, Chairman of uh, the uh, Regional Center for Educational Planning, our dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this uh, conference, uh, we would like to at the end of the uh, third international conference uh, under the title of Education for Future, from planning to praxis, uh, we managed to achieve uh, the desired uh, objective and the recommendations of this uh, conference uh, will include the, the, the fact that uh, we need to uh, collaborate uh, and uh, to uh, all educational uh, institutions uh, should work together to implement these recommendations. Uh, Ms. Mohar, please, the floor is yours. Thank you, Ms. Badria. At the end of this conference, I would like to tell you that it, it has been an honor to have you here. It has been an honor to receive the uh, delegates from the GCC countries. Uh, this conference has been uh, 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 ha or has had the honor of hosting uh, uh, many of uh, GCC educational entities uh, 
uh, representatives. Two years uh, from now, we will be uh, reviewing uh, the recommendations that we have uh, and the implementation rate that we have achieved. We need to uh, assess ourselves uh, to, uh, achieve, to assess our success. I'd like to thank uh, His Excellency Hussein Al Hamadi, the Minister of Education, for uh, his support uh, for the center and uh, uh, his support for uh, the representatives of the GCC uh, Education Institutions Centers and uh, uh, shedding light on the UAE educational plan. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Excellency. Thank you for all the uh, uh, participants that have uh, uh, remained with us until now. Uh, tomorrow or Wednesday, all the sessions will be available online. All the sessions will be available on the website, uh, and all the uh, papers will also be uh, available online uh, one week later. Uh, uh, the, the, there will be a booklet, uh, a hard copy of the booklet uh, with all uh, research papers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.